We always like to discover a different way to make cheeseburgers. And today we might have just come out with the best idea yet. After doing cheesesteak egg rolls, we knew this one was a must. You wanna see how we do cheeseburger egg rolls? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do, no matter where we're doing it, no matter where we're throwing down some food, or just having some good old fashioned shenanigans. I thought you were gonna say good old fashioned fun, because that's what <laughs> this is. It is absolutely. In fact, we're taking an old classic and giving it a new Asian twist. Is it even Asian twist because it's the egg roll pepper? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think by law, by culinary oh, by law, that. we have to abide. Okay. But we are super excited to do these cheeseburger egg rolls. This is one that Brett pitched to me a couple weeks ago and he's been super giddy about it ever yeah. since. And I'm not gonna lie, so have I been. And we're yeah. super excited to get to do this. We thought of doing this a couple of different ways. If you've followed our channel for a long time, you know we love the shallow, what we call the griddle fries, where we kind of get a little puddle of oil yep. to cook in. We've had a lot of success that way, but we also like using the aluminum tin, which we will be using today. But Brett, to make get it, to the groceries. Yeah, to make it like a deep fry. Yeah, yeah here like we go. Fry. So get to the groceries, so then we'll explain. Get to the gr the gr groceries right here. All right, front and center, we've got the oil we are using by choice today. It is vegetable oil. Behind that, you've got 80-20 ground beef. We have uh, diced uh, pickles and red onion, and we're gonna be putting them on these egg roll wraps and not pictured American cheese. And by the way, we're also gonna be topping the egg rolls with ketchup and, and mustard. Very classic. We did think lay them in a bed of lettuce or something like that, but we thought, you know, we'll hold off. We're gonna keep it simple as a pimple, the all-American cheeseburger egg roll, right? There you go, <laughs> all-American <laughs> cheeseburger egg roll. All-American classic. Let's get to the griddle. Here we go. So first thing we wanted to point out, I'm not sure if we said it, we've had this oh. oil on the griddle now for a good- 10 minutes. 10 minutes or so, and it's already at 220. 225, 225 we, already. We turned it on a high. It is now on medium, about medium, medium right now. Because we want this to get to 320, 325. And we have Good. this side on low because right. this griddle gets hot. Yes, Can you hear that nice. screaming? All right, little salt. Little salt. We're gonna use a lot of salt and a lot of pepper because this is the only salt and pepper I'm putting. Right. So this is for seasoning. So when you're looking, if I had to guess, you're looking at about two to three table teaspoons rather of salt and about two teaspoons of pepper on that. Sure. I'm gonna chop that up. All right, so all we're gonna do is cook this up and brown this up. Brett, what would you say, three or four minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, five tops. And by the way, you'll notice, no gloves. We ran out, we only have two cooks to do today, and uh, well, we don't have gloves. <laughs> it's something we typically do not do is run out of gloves. And Correct. I mean, I've got a bunch down in my place, but. We like this finely, finely chopped. I know some people will like uh, bigger chunks like this to be in their ground beef, not us. Right, and so you can chop this however finely you want. Like Brett said, we do prefer it more finely chopped. The only time I leave it a little bit chunkier, I would say, Brett, is when I'm adding ground beef to my spaghetti sauce. All right, so we do have a little bit of searing, which is great. So now, turn these two off. All right. And then, uh, we, we want to show you how we drain the excess grease on these. So Brett, hand me the plate, I'll hold the plate and so you can show that process. Very nice of you, Adam. Okay, thank you, that's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna take it. And then just hold it up so that grease will drip out. All right, we'll preserve some of it. You can go ahead and put it on the plate, we're down to small drips. And do it again, do it just again. Let that excess grease drip off till it's just slowed down. There you are, you're slow, there you go. By the way, I don't know if we mentioned, this is about a pound of ground oh, beef. Oh yeah, I don't know that we did mention that. Maybe a little bit more than a pound, but. Oop. All right, one more grease, drip that a little bit. And all right, let's get to the next phase, dude. So now Brett is going to go ahead and walk us through the build of this. We're gonna watch how he does this. And we did, by the way, grab a cup of water. That's gonna help. With, Glue. Uh, yeah, kind of to he'll put a little uh, water on his fingers to make sure that he can seal the wonton wrappers. We're gonna take the cheese and put it right in the center. Nice. Right there, right there. And then I'm gonna take some of the burger, ham. A little bit more, the burger of ham. So we wanted to give this kind of a, a sense of a fresh burger, so that's why we got fresh dill pickles that we cut up, Brett cut up, and then also this fresh red onion. So we're gonna let that, or pile that in there as well. And then Brett's gonna 
roll this. We got some feedback on our last ones. Brett, do it true Japanese style and go corner to corner. All right, so I think we got this right. We had to do a little a little practice talk off the side. Okay, so we're gonna go up like yeah, this. Yeah, up and over. And kind of tuck. Yeah, and then you're gonna pull it over. Kind of, kind of folded funny, but that's okay. It doesn't it have to be perfect. It didn't fold funny, yes. And the first one is not gonna be perfect, because, you know. Practice. Oh, and then we want a little bit yeah. of water. Mm -hmm. Right here for the tip, because then that will help it stick. We'll see how not that goes. Not the prettiest one, but there we go. For all the egg rolls we've done, we still always get confused with this. So here's our first uh, two rolls. But I think we've got a system down now, right, Brett? I believe I so. Brett did one, but I think we've got it. We're gonna have Brett just take over and knock these out. So Brett and I tag teamed that, we got him. Brett is down to the last one, and some might say our rolls may or may not have gotten better. <laughs> Just to say I think they look, look great, bro. We ended up with 11, I'm excited for this. That's enough for six for me, five for you. We're gonna take these over and uh, get these fried up. That oil is ready. Brett, let's temp the oil and make sure we're good to go. Yeah, all right, 321 is where we're temping. It's right about where Ouch. we wanna be. All right, we're ready to go. Brett's got his egg rolls. We're gonna start dipping them in here and cooking them up. There we go. I would do about two. Start with two. Start with two, let's see. I'll bet these are gonna take Basically. three or four minutes. Or all we're doing is getting these GBD. Yep. Oh man. After a minute, we'll wait. You can see it's still white. Once it starts to turn a little brown, we're gonna turn it just for a minute to get that part. Yep. Then we're gonna pull them. See, they're cooking up really quick. Now, one thing we want to keep in mind also is once I pull these, we got to remember the temperature is going to drop a little bit. So we're going to wait a minute, wait for the temperature to come back up and go from there. There we go. All right, so this has been just about two minutes and we're starting to get some golden brown deliciousness going on there. So we'll keep continuing. We'll keep continuing. We're going to keep continuing. <laughs> we're going to keep continuing in the wise words of Adam. And then and then when it's time to stop, we'll halt all operations? Correct, oh, but only when it's time. Only when it's time. Only when it's time. All right, so after a good about four minutes, we're gonna start pulling these. The, the, they're gonna continue to, uh, to turn golden brown delicious. So we'll get that one going and, oh, Brett, that looks fantastic. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Look at that. Okay. Let those sit at just another minute and then uh, we'll start getting going on the next batch. All right, so there we go. We're gonna get these next two going and uh, Brett, let's get the next uh, next little batch in. You got it. Oh, dude, those are looking fantastic. I'll let that one go just another yep. minute. So go ahead and grab two more and let's get going. So we can get this whole operation going. This feeling got me flying high as a bird. I may never touch the ground. It may not be my birthday. But I just want to celebrate oh, oh, oh. All right, so we're down to just the last couple. Brett is gonna kill the heat. We're gonna pull these to eat, and then we're, we're going gonna take to a seat. Take a seat, and it'll be neat. There they are. They know the they glory. glory. And I gotta say, this one took a little bit longer, but so often, yes. the longer cooks, 
end up being the best. We just get to hang you know out. What? It's a I beautiful think, day. I think I say the same thing for the short cooks. So <laughs> if we just cooking, love to cook. If you're cooking, it's gonna be good. Right? Uh, we yes. can talk about this, but the process did take a little bit longer than we thought. We probably could have cranked the heat up quite a bit more. We're used to doing yeah. a shallow fry where Brett made the point. You get the direct heat on these and they cook up really quick. Yeah. That uh, from, said, from the they time all we, out. Yeah, from the time we put the first one in until now has been about 35 minutes. Yeah, so. so great. But uh, we had to let these cool a little bit too. Now we drizzled this up. You could di have your dipping sauces, however, whatever you want on the side. We just wanted to keep this simple. Yeah. Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing, just like I hoped it would, <laughs> and I expected it to. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Uh, cheeseburger, can I get a smell <laughs> yeah? Smell yeah, you can. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that. My, My brother. Mmm. Mmm. That's a cheeseburger. That is. In an egg roll. This is so satisfying. Mm. The cheese, the pickles, the onions, and good call on the topping with the ketchup and mustard. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm. Mm. Hold on, I'm still assessing. <laughs> no need for me. Oh my gosh. That's per you gotta try this. You have got to try this. You know what I want a little bit more of? Cheese. The cheese mm. is good, but I could use a little yeah. bit more. Well, yeah, I can always use more cheese on a burger. Use more cheese. Mm. That's good. That is absolutely perfect. Melty. <laughs> I got a whole okay. basket back <laughs> here. All right. The word. That's good mood food. The word that comes to my mind. Satisfying. Satisfying. That is that's per perfect word for it. It is so satisfying because I'm getting. I'm still getting the crunch of the of the wrap. Yes. Mm. And I, I have the flavors of the beef. Now here's the thing. I thought it would taste more like a, tradi a traditional cheeseburger. It okay. doesn't, uh? but it's like better somehow. It, it, yeah, it's I, like you get that loose meat, kind of like a loose meat sandwich. Okay, so okay. Asses for the maid, right? We'll still do that one. Yes, that one's on but the way. Everything, and I didn't get as much pickle. Maybe mine, we had a couple where we didn't have a lot of pickle. Okay, I'm gotcha. That was it. But overall, so satisfying. So and satisfying. so that, that wrap. So satisfying. And I'm like, this, yeah, this is perfect. Yep. If I get this at the restaurant, am I going back? Yep. Yes. Would this the be appetizer? Is it going to be on the food truck? On yep. the food truck. Jared, Jared Collins, yep, this is going on the food truck. <laughs> yes, to answer your question already. Or actually, you're going to say it's going so on the food good. truck, and you're right. Man, this is absolutely amazing. Brett, thanks for wanting to do this one. This you're welcome. Out perfect. Hey, what's next? Taco egg roll. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, you did mention that. <laughs> if you did like this, does it give you one more idea, something that you could cook on your griddle? Make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Brother, Yes. I love getting to come and do these. So do I. Man, this was so great. Aside from coming to make this banger. Oh another, my gosh. Another Wall Twins classic. I mean, yes. We didn't invent this, but we're calling it that. Yeah. <laughs> Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.